Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at Unity and Blender, and I'm going to show you how I bring my objects into Unity. So, for instance, now I have this basic scene set up like this, and this is just using the default textures that I've painted in here, but generally I don't use these textures. Like if you saw the tutorials that I posted last night, I'll tend to use my own types of surfaces, because otherwise it, it all kind of looks the same, and even the grass looks kind of like the same. And that's okay, but I have specific interests. So, when I come over here into Blender, I just have this basic object here in the scene like this. I have two materials assigned to the same object. This yellow and this blue. So let's just show you, I'll show you a couple of the ways that I do it. First of all, the first thing I'm going to do with the object select, I'm just going to press File, Export, and I'm going to export it as a regular wavefront object. And I'm going to call it, I don't know, let's give it a new name, let's call it Thing. Thing 1. Just for, because I can't think of anything for the moment. Alright, so then I'm going to come over here into Unity, and then, no, well, if you notice where I saved that, actually, I wanted meant to mention that, so let me export that again, just so you see it. So, export it as Thing 1, and notice I'm in my, this particular folder is for the project for Unity, and then I'm in the Assets folder within there, so I'm saving it within the Assets folder within Unity. Okay, and the reason I do that is then because it's media, immediately available in here, if I click the Assets folder in here, if I look down here, there's the object. However, there's a little bit of a problem here. And you notice this shows yellow here, but I'm missing this material on top. Alright? So there's some, where is that blue material? Alright? It should be there. Alright? So some, what, what happens sometimes is, sometimes the naming of the material I found can get messed up. Even So I don't tend to use material, I'll just call this blue. Oops, type in here. I'll just call this blue, blue one. Like that, I'm going to re-export it. I'm going to export it again as a wavefront object, and I'll call it thing two. And we'll go see if it's in here now. And there it is still missing, right? So, because that tends to present me problems, I typically almost always export it as a FBX file, right there. Okay, so then I'll call this thing three. Thing three dot FBX. And typically this always resolves it for me. I can have as many materials as I like, or at least as many as I've tried. And there it is right there. So now it has both materials with it. And if I just take it and drag it up into the scene. It's into the scene. There's its position in here. I'll just reset it back to I'll just set it back to the origin and we'll go take a look at it. Reset. So now that cube should be back, back to the origin. If I zoom way out of the scene in this terrain, it should be up here. Uh huh. Well, okay, well then sometimes sometimes that's a problem. Oh, yeah, that's. Um, if you take. Depends on which object you bring in. If you bring in the this object here, notice the scale factor is 0 0.01 when I import it as a .fpx file. But if I take a look over here, if I import it as a .obj file, the scale factor is 1. So for a .fbx file, you want to make sure to change this to some higher number like 1. And then, I should be able to see it. Now where is that sucker? Let me see. Well, we can always click Thing 3 like that, right? Thing 3, apply it. Just it's going to have to press F since it's active. Thing 3, F. Up oh, there it is at the corner like that. Let's see, thing three. If I had it here and I left it down at 0 0.01 like that and applied that, you can see you can barely see the object like this. All right, so I'll just leave it there like that. And there it is in the scene. Then I can do whatever I want, move it around, rotate it, scale it, things of that nature. And so really that's probably the best way that I found for working within here because that's how I'll typically work in here is if I need objects, I'll just create them in Blender because I know the editing tools pretty well. Not super well, but pretty well. And it's just a lot easier to make cool objects and features within here and then just drag them into Unity as I need them. Okay, well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.